Just a miserable defensive sequence from Isaiah Hartenstein. First of all, can we sprint over to Paulo Bonchero so we're ready to guard? Okay, you're, you're just jogging over there. Okay, so now though I want to get up, I want to force Bonchero to the middle of the floor where I have help. You're letting Bonchero, look at this. You're opening your hip up, letting Bonchero go where you have no help. That was atrocious. RJ Barrett's got to, you got to wait for Franz Wagner to actually set this screen here. Okay, when he sets the screen, then you can switch. RJ Barrett's already switching. There's no screen set. So, slips it. Have to defend this down screen first. Julius Randle's got to get attached and show. So, Jalen Suggs can't curl. You do nothing about this down screen. So, DiVincenzo got, just got screened. That's why he fell over. So, now you have no chance of guarding this handoff now. None. DiVincenzo, obviously you're switching here on a ball screen set at the free throw line. I got to get underneath the screener immediately. There's nothing to think about. This is an automatic switch. You're switching over the top. That brings Julius Randle and backside help, and it's going to leave Batadze in the corner now. It's just... If you hedge this screen here, okay, Isaiah Harton signs up. The sideline's right there. DiVincenzo comes in backside help. But the second Jalen Suggs hesitates, which is going to be in like a tenth of a second, Hartenstein's coming right back and bumping DiVincenzo back. Or you can just give up open threes for absolutely no reason. In transition, can everybody just get back? R.J. Barrett, Brunson, Hartenstein, just get back. Then you'll figure out who's guarding who. Look at R.J. Barrett and Hartenstein. Jogging back, jogging back, jog. No one's in help now. Your Emmanuel Quigley, you've got to be the one to initiate contact here. You got to be up battling for position. You've got to create the contact. If you wait for Franz Wagner to find you, now he's just going to seal you down low, and this is too easy. What is Jalen Brunson doing? The Knicks are clearly switching the screen right here. So just switch the screen. Like, I guess Josh Hart needs to communicate this, but you should be going into a game. Every time Josh Hart and Jalen Brunson are on the screen, we're switching. Josh Hart switches. Jalen Brunson doesn't. Paulo Banchero's open for three. Look at how idiotic this ball screen defense is. I, of course, would just ice this screen and keep Jalen Suggs to the sideline. You have a backside defender right there with Josh Hart. But the Knicks switched the screen. So just switch at the point of the screen. Isaiah Hartenstein, you got help with Josh Hart right there for Jalen Suggs. Jalen Brunson's got to get low in battle. Instead, the Knicks start in drop coverage, so you're just giving up a layup line right here, and then say, never mind, let's switch. So even if this layup that you just gave up for no reason misses, Batadze's boxing out Brunson for an offensive rebound. Jalen Brunson off this turnover, just get back, just get you gamble towards the ball, get nothing, and now you're out of the play, and now the Magic have numbers. It happens multiple times this game where Julius Randle's giving no effort. I mean, Isaiah Hartenstein needs to be getting back too, but Julius Randle's literally going to not even try. Like, Isaiah Hartenstein right now should just be sprinting back, not going to the ball. But look at Julius Randle, not even trying. So they're going to score at the end of the half now. Here this is again with Julius Randle. Bonchero's got this rebound. Could you try and sprint back here? Look at Julius Randle. Complaining. He's not in the picture. How? Doubling at the rim is not going to do anything. Julius Randle's got to get up. You want to force him to the middle of the floor where you have help everywhere. If you want to, DiVincenzo can come double right here. Okay, and then if Taj Gibson, who's standing in the charge circle for no reason, was up the line, it'd be an easy X out. He just comes up onto Jalen Suggs. DiVincenzo goes to the weak side of the floor and Batadze. But, I mean, Julius Randle's backpedaling, backpedaling, going to gamble. And now, look, it, too late. Just let Jalen Suggs come off this screen. You're going to want to end up hedging this anyways right here. There's a backside defender right there with Batadze, but you're trying to get over the top of the screen early, so Jalen Suggs just beats you the other way. Again, what is Julius Randle doing? Taj Gibson's recovering back. Batadze is going to slip the screen. So Julius Randle needs to stay up with Bonchero. Why is Julius Randle in the paint? Taj Gibson's recovered now. Like, you're just not, you're in, you're in no man's land. Why is Emmanuel Quigley backing into this screen right here? Just get up and guard. If the screen gets set, you'll defend it. But look at Quigley here, backpedaling and feeling out a screen. So now you got to come back uphill to guard Jalen Suggs, and as that happens, he's just going to turn on the Jets and blow by you and turn the corner. Quentin Grimes in transition. If you want to take the ball, you got to say something. Say that you're taking Suggs, so Josh Hart knows to go to Wagner. But Quentin Grimes not communicating. So now we have two people guarding the ball, no one taking Wagner.
It's just this intergalactic defense by the Knicks. First of all, I don't know why you're not just guarding the ball regularly. The sidelines right there, I'd want to hedge because I have a backside defender right there with Emmanuel Quigley. But the Knicks end up switching this, I guess. So why are you not just switching it now? Like, again, you're, you're in drop coverage, then you switch. So not only am I giving up a Jalen Suggs open jumper, Mo Wagner's boxing Grimes out because you switched late. Your Julius Randle, please stop backpedaling. Stop back. Josh Hart's come all the way over here to help you. Quentin Grimes has got to get up the line and help too. But you should have help everywhere, so I'm up guarding. Like, all you're doing is backpedaling for absolutely no reason. Why is Julius Randle not just guarding the ball here regularly? Slide your feet. It's Mo Wagner. Why do you come up and gamble for no reason? And then... Pfft, where the Knicks coaching is an absolute circus. One person come to the ball. So in this case, let's just have it be Josh Hart. He'll get the dribble picked up. Jalen Brunson will immediately rotate. Then everybody else rotates from there. Instead, you got Josh Hart doubling and Julius Randle doubling. And now there's no rotating out of this. The Knicks come up to trap right here. If that's what's happening, then Emmanuel Quigley has got to stay with Jalen Suggs. Josh Hart would then rotate up to Anthony Black, and Julius Randle would take Bonchero. You leave Batadze two passes away. But you trap and then just let Jalen Suggs move to one pass away without anyone denying him. Well, no point in trapping.